Hello there. We are going to acknowledge that we have really intense emotions that come. We don't always know what to do when they come. Sometimes we end up pushing them away, ignoring. And there are a lot of different ways to work with emotions because oftentimes they're connected to a thought. So this is a mindfulness practice that encourages us to detach from the thought and get more into our bodies. There are many recordings we could do to explore and work with the intense emotions that arise. For this moment, we are going to practice coming into the body and getting more information from the body. The most important thing is to practice breathing. Breath support is the foundation for your relationship with your body. If you're not bringing in adequate oxygen, all systems struggle. So as best you can, focus on your breath. Focusing on your breath can look like taking deeper inhales, bigger exhales. It could look like visualizing that balloon, expanding and contracting within your torso, those lungs expanding and contracting. Use what works for you. Some of us are more visual, and so getting an image in our minds to see in our bodies can be really helpful. And then it can just be helpful if we're more auditory to be given that reminder and the encouragement to do so. And then for others of us, we're very in our bodies, so we just need to do it and see how it goes. Notice what happens as soon as you start to breathe. Something usually shifts in our attention and awareness. As best you can, notice those things, specifically the sensations that are in your body. If you're crying in this moment, notice where the energy is moving and where it may feel more bound or stuck and not flowing through the entire body. At this time, you have made some contact with your body, a huge part of yourself. So doing this can feel awkward if you don't have a relationship with your body that is friendly. If you don't have body friendship, this is all going to be new and take practice. As best you can, please be kind, please be gentle, and please take a break from making any judgments about yourself and what you're doing. The invitation at this time is to see or create any sounds or movements or both that express the moment you are in. For example, you may notice that you have clenched hands Perhaps you squeeze them as tight as you can. Perhaps you practice doing the opposite and you open it and then you close it. Perhaps there is a deep guttural sound like a moan or a wail that wishes to be heard and moved. And so you start slowly, gently. Find an impulse to move or make sounds, it may not make any sense, and then you know you're on the right track because we're wanting to give the brain a break and we have to be vigilant with giving that brain a break. It's gonna keep coming in and giving us its two cents, which is great. It does great things for us. Express your appreciation. Thank you, brain. Thank you for your feedback your commentary, your ideas, your suggestions, your judgments. 
I'm going to keep doing this. Go into the sound or movement and hang out with it for as long as you need to. And please remember, time passes differently when you are deeply connecting with yourself. It may feel like an eternity has gone by and it's been one minute. Sometimes it feels as though the feeling that we're having and exploring will never change. At some point, the energy does change. Relating to yourself is going to give you the information that will eventually be meaningfully, meaningful to you because you're growing in your body friendship and you're learning how to navigate, acknowledge, express your emotions in a different way rather than battling what is inside of you, rather than fighting your feelings, you are going to be the best friend, the compassionate parent to yourself. And I know it is super awkward at first. Please give this more than one try and make it your own. Maybe you have an impulse to draw something, make something. Go with your impulse, go with your creative expression in the moment that supports you hanging out with your feeling so that it can eventually be transformed. Remember, emotions are energy they are meant to be acknowledged, expressed, and moved on. And there are a lot of different ways to work with this. So again, this is a very small touching in point. But I'm here to be a voice that gives you permission to explore through your body. This is an invitation to take a break from your brain, which is constantly giving you thoughts that might be unkind and we need to be vigilant to take breaks from those and to learn new ways of dropping into ourselves so that we don't think our thoughts are the only thing that we have and that we don't believe them because sometimes our thoughts are just not true. So the more we can get into our body, the more we can breathe and connect with our body, the more we can follow an impulse to make movement, to make sound, to make new meaning, we start to create more options for ourselves. Give yourself more breath. And at any point, journal. Continue the process. Continue the movement. Keep it simple. Focus on one thing at a time. Thank you so much for exploring yourself. <laughs>